Hey guys, how you doing? I'm back, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make some cool little output labels for different values on uh, LUAs. So, um, this is going to be my first tutorial on um, coding using LUA and putting stuff on screens. So, if you want more, then uh, do hit the like, and uh, yeah, let's go right into it. Okay, so here I have a simple little setup that you might see on your creation. I have a screen, I've got a keypad for our numerical value that we're going to be displaying. I also have a toggle value, which I'm going to be showing you a cool little way to display that as well. I also have a constant on signal just to keep the screen on. I also have a battery and I have this microcontroller which I've saved some time and I've already set this up um, and I'll show you that now so for the nodes I simply have our two inputs for the number and um, on off also a video for our screen um, I have simply done a couple writes so um, as this comes out on off will be channel one number in will be channel two and we're going to be grabbing our script here. That's going to go straight into the input and the video output. Don't have to worry about these because nothing's really passing through it here. So already off the bat we have a kind of default stuff here, um, which some of it we'll be using. I'm just going to quickly delete the stuff that we won't. So I want to go over the help section. Now this is really cool. This is a full page of basic and useful outputs and drawings and whatever. And it's really cool. You can basically make a full HUD just with the stuff in here. There's a few things we're going to need from here. Um, first off, we're going to be doing the on off signal. Um, just receiving it and turning it into code basically. So the way we do that is we come in, composite in and out. And we just copy paste um, get ball. We're going to get a on off signal, and the index is going to be whatever channel. So I'll come up here. This is going to be going under the tick function, and we'll give it a variable. We'll say on off is going to equal on off channel one, like that. That's pretty simple. If it's on, then on off is going to be true. Next, uh, we already have this actually set here, so we'll just do number, and this is going to be channel 2, and as you can see, it's getting a variable number um, from the composite input. And what we have is width and height, these are just variables called W and H, and they simply get the screen's width and height. And we also have a screen which is set in the color to green. Um, 255 here is the max. I'm going to start with the number actually. So what we can do, so you can come down to drawing in the help section and come down here, there's a useful screen.drawText function and we'll simply copy paste that in and here is the X and Y and what I can do here is maybe I want it right in the center of my screen. So I'll do width divided by 2, half the width, and we'll do height divided by 2. And if you're putting numbers in here, say 40 or something, um, then it would start from the top left. So the lower the number, the more to the top left you are of the screen. The next thing here is text, what we want to be displayed. Now you could do a speech marks here and say number and then a comma and then num um, that would display a normal text because um, it's in speech marks and then our variable but for now I'm just going to keep it super simple and just leave it as number so it's going to output our number value whatever it might be um, or from the keypad and it's going to put it at half the screen and half the width size so we can actually test that right now and we have something in the center there we have a zero and that's because this is zero so we can put in some random long number and boom there it is I don't know what's going on with these friction pads 
and they're kind of freaking out. But yeah. Okay, so back in the LUA script here, and we're going to be thinking about the on-off. Now, what I'm thinking of doing is having a circle, and when it's on, I want the circle to be filled, and when it's off, I want it to be um, unfilled, so it's a bit like a flashing button light thing. A couple things we're going to be needing, again in the drawer, we have a useful drawer circle, I'm going to come paste that down and we have draw circle fill so we've got draw circle and draw circle fill they both have the same things which we'll be setting let's just put it at 10 so it'll be sort of up to the top left and the radius maybe four so it'll be kind of eight eight by eight long circle all right and right now that's just going to draw a filled circle on top of a unfilled circle and that's not really doesn't really relate to the on off value up here so what we can do is start a new function in here if um, on off equals that's a double equals true no, true then then we say fill so if it's true, then we draw a filled circle at 10, 10. Else, draw a unfilled circle. And we'll put an end at that. And so th this whole thing here, if it's on, then it's drawing a filled. If it's off, then it's drawing an unfilled, which is perfect. And uh, you can come down here. There's a check errors button. And this will basically check your entire script for any, say, you missed a bracket. It'll come in and it'll tell you that there's supposed to be a bracket there, which is really useful. And that's a zero. Not. <laughs> yep, we have an unfilled circle because this is currently off. But if we, boom, yeah, draw a filled circle. It's working awesome. So guys, hope you enjoyed that really fast tutorial um, on LUA. Um, tell me if you want some more of these. I'll be happy to do some. I only have a limited knowledge of this. Um, so yeah, but um, hope that that's going to be helpful for you in your boats and things. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.